My name is Jesse. I play in the band Apollo Sunshine. I play bass and keyboards. I'm Sam from Apollo Sunshine. I play guitar, pedal steel. Jeremy, I play drums. Now, um, there was a fourth member in the band for a while, wasn't there? And I'm curious what happened, to, uh, how that all went down. Well, we started as a trio and kind of added him in the mix just to, you know, add some flavor to what we were doing a little bit and or or more to more to like fill out our sound and it was it was cool for what we were doing at the time, but we we decided we wanted to kind of regroup and get like go back to where we started a little bit to to maybe move in another direction or maybe work with some other people and I think always the focus of the band is just going to be like the three of us trying out different things and 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 that was just one of the incarnations you know that and we found him in bed with all three of our girlfriends at the same time oh, and yeah. we were kind of like we think we're going to go back to the three piece thing Thanks. how did you guys meet each other oh, we met each other in boston they actually they they had a band going called cash and they needed a bass player i think they had gone through a bunch of bass players they're tough to hang out with <laughs> And no, somehow I ended up getting a call. I didn't really know them. I came in, and we were a band for a while, and then we were like, let's just start a new band. Where do you guys think you fall on, on the, you know, if you're going to try to describe your, your band in a couple words or name, an indie band, a jam band, a rock band, what, how would you guys describe your band? We usually say rock and roll band, you know, yeah. just sort of like, you know, can kind of cover a broad spectrum of things, fun. Yeah, sure. Do you guys uh, currently have a uh, like favorite song that you enjoy playing live? Uh, we, we've been covering this song by this guy, William Onyebor, called, um, shit, what's it called? Better Change Your Better Mind. Better Change Your Mind. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good song. It's uh, this, this guy from the 60s from Africa. It's a really cool jam. How about some other bands that y'all have played with that you've really dug this year, or just in general, um, bands on the scene that you guys think really do a nice job? Yeah, we played with uh, Deerhoof in New York, this, and they're amazing, amazing. And uh, this guy that has this band called White Flight, he's actually coming tonight to the show. He's really amazing. This guy, Edon, is quite great. Uh, Mazarin. Mazarin is a great band. And how about going back to when you guys sort of got into music? What, what records sort of made you guys want to do what you're doing? Uh, definitely the Beatles. Huh? Yeah. Else for you? Beatles, Nirvana. Actually, I got into the Beatles a little later, way before I started playing music, and then way after. But like Nirvana, definitely, and like Guns N' Roses, and Metallica, yeah, right. actually, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, you know. Guns N' Roses, Beach Boys, and then Jimi Hendrix. Like as soon yeah, as you start Jimi playing Hendrix. music, you get into Jimi Hendrix, and that it gets fun. Classics. And now, are you guys uh, in the process of writing new material for a record or anything of that nature? Yeah, we're definitely just uh, we're kind of taking some time to do like fewer shows and just kind of live a bit, see kind of the beauty of everyday life and just kind of just, you know, you just get inspiration when you have some time to just stop and like look around and stuff. So Now, does the dynamic of having Jeremy out here and you guys being on the East Coast, that's true, right? You guys still live on the East Coast and yeah. does that affect, how does that affect the band? I mean, it must affect it in some fashion, I would think. It does. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the like, obvious ways. Yeah. Right, right now, I feel like it's kind of an interesting period for all of us because, I mean, well, at, at, at first when I was out here, Sam and Jesse were living together in Massachusetts, but now Sam's in New York and Jesse's in Massachusetts, so we, we kind of each are, are gaining more personal space, and I think it's all giving us, like, like more of um, kind of a perspective on, on, on life and and in general, I think it's going to, when we do get back together to record the record, I think there's going to be way more of, like, uh, just perspective coming together. It's, it's going to be cool. Do you guys write collectively, or is it sort of an individual thing and you bring it to the table later? Well, we kind of, like, I mean, it depends. We've had different experiences sure. having songs, but we kind of come to the table with a song, like, kind of basically, and then we all work it together. I don't know, we kind of just click pretty well musically, so it's sort of like, I know I can come with just like chords and a melody and we'll just like have the song done pretty fast, or, you know, and then we might mess around with it more, but yeah, it's kind of just like, you know, one guy will write some lyrics and sure. chord progression, but I don't know, it just comes out, it, honestly, songwriting is the weirdest thing to harness what you're going to write about, sometimes, you know, you'll be sitting and like all of a sudden you've written like a bunch of a song and you're like what the hell is this about like you're not really that conscious if you're doing it for some reason you had you just sat down and that one day the melody that you were humming like 
sticks with you more so than something else you were doing and all of a sudden you have a song and you're like oh I guess I yeah that's sure. sometimes that happens now, I wasn't at um, High Sierra this year. It's actually the first time I really ever wasn't. But um, you know, a lot of people said they had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Um, I'm wondering uh, how an experience like that, uh, how an experience like that, uh, compares to uh, a regular show. When you guys are playing a festival, like uh, for a bunch of people who don't know you, how does that affect what you guys do compared to playing at a club where people are coming out to see you? Yeah. High Sierra was a ton of fun. Yeah. I don't, I mean, every show is pretty different. Obviously, it's a unique show when you go and camp out for three sure. days and like just. I mean, it. That's a particularly cool festival. It's like really low security. There's not like. Keep, the guy. Yeah, there's nothing like keeping everyone person. there from having the same amount of fun and like all the musicians right. are just hanging out with everybody. There's not that like authoritarian crappy thing so everyone just comes for a few days and it gets like deeper and deeper you know <laughs> yo you're watching backstage <laughs> with jambase.com <laughs> go see yeah. live music thank you ladies